Okay, Virgos, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Alright. Ace of Swords. Clarity, Honesty, Breakthrough. What else? Ooh. Oh, well, we like this. Look at this crap. Ooh. This is somebody that wants to begin, start up, and put work into it. Oh, that's nice. Has a gift of love to offer. Here is my cup. Oh. Now, keep in mind that aces are brand new beginnings, but, ooh, I'm saying this is new. Nice. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. So this person's wishing to have sex with you and wants to start something up. This is hopeful energy. Very nice. Can be heavy on that Aquarius. Let's get one more. Okay, King of Cups. They might pout if they don't get their way. Okay, okay. All joking aside, this person can be a little bit emotionally cold or not happy if they don't get their way. Also can be a little bit codependent. Okay. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. We have a jackass. A jackass has entered the room. Wants to fight with you. Oh, what's slipped underneath there that we missed? Okay. So this person wants to, you know, they aren't dropping this shit. Whatever they did, it hurt. They still want to argue about it. And I don't think you... <laughs> intuitively you know it's not even worth it all right taurus virgo capricorn okay so you got a potential libra here a little bit of balance this person feels left out in the cold Ooh, harsh they feel very much cut out they don't think things were equal is what i'm getting the gist of here okay clean deck Source, what do we have for Virgos today? Person most on their mind. Four of Wands. Okay. So a soul connection. Six of Swords. Hmm. How do they view Virgo? Nine of Pentacles, reverse, codependent, and strength, holding back. Why the Six of Swords? So this person's holding back from this connection that had been fantastical, could have been in a, uh, very much a manipulator. They could have felt manipulated as well because we're asking what's on their mind. Five of Pentacles reversed. This is like, this. there's no discussion here. They're blaming you, you're blaming them. The Emperor, you have some, oh. This is, this is like stalemate central between the two of you. The Emperor can be an Aries, but it's like stubborn as hell energy. The Emperor is stoic. I mean, stoic, major manipulation. The Emperor makes things come to him or her. Stable, but not moving. There's a foundation. Here's a foundation. How you view them. Unreliable. Could have been stepping out. What else? I mean, Aries Leo Sag. Three of Swords. Okay. You don't think they heard as badly about this as you... There again, that's the blaming. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're still very much concentrating on the rug being pulled up beneath you and the revelation that was made and the pain. Uh, four of Swords. So right now, there is no communication. Potential moving forward. Wheel of Fortune. Why the Wheel of Fortune? So some of you are moving away from this connection. This person just didn't offer enough. Eight of Wands. Wow. There's not going to be any communication for quite a while. A lot of stubborn energy. Somebody really ticked off. Very much could have been manipulative. Seeing you as codependent emotionally. Screw that. Temperance, you're taking some time to heal. Can be a Sagittarius coming your direction. What is new, 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 new for Virgos? Boy, your energy just changes every day. Ace of Swords reversed. You don't want any bullshit and lies. 
and eight of pentacles so i i really do feel like you're just working on yourself right now working getting your finances together you're willing to put a lot of work into a situation really reminiscing now the six of cups it, it can be return yes of an ex but it also can be you you know thinking that if you put more work into it they would but not if they're going to be a manipulative asshole. What the hell's the point? This also can be, generally speaking, just a gift. New, 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 new. The emperor, by the way, that's buried under this mess heap now, can mean that if you are single or in separation, that you will be meeting somebody new very soon, which is why they could be pissed off. Seven of Pentacles, you are really doubting and assessing what direction you want to go in and where to put your work. Ten of Wands reversed. Why? There's, you know, that feeling of being used and betrayed and possibly jealousy. Two of Swords, this is major stalemate with this person from the past. There's something that, it's like you have to decide to move past this. Your energy is so damn stuck. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Four of Cups. Not seeing what's being offered. Very hurt. Why the four? It's like unable to express the feelings, not wanting to have been separated, not seeing an opportunity, needing to contemplate what's going to come your direction. Two of Pentacles juggling choices i don't think you're ready to make any decision some of you mm -mm, you're not ready to move any direction forward and some of you are like to bring it on fresh new world can be a cancer coming your direction just that simple you need to get yourself together the six of wands reversed is having kind of a low self-esteem not feeling like you're getting attention wanting the right kind of attention could have felt that that person was two-faced as well and it's just their energy but they are watching you why why the hell do they want to watch you and there it is so eventually this person will try to come around they are thinking about reconciliation but right now your energy is stuck as hell it's like somebody crazy glued their ass and your ass is on opposite poles of the globe Page of Swords watching, trying to collect information, thinking about coming back your direction. Are they bringing baggage with them or not? But right now, I feel both of you have this mentality right here, holding back. Four of Pentacles, wanting to hold on tight or hold on to, to your emotions and not offer. Too much pain right now. Icky, shitty, yuck. So for whoever this resonates with, try to work on yourself and releasing. So there is a space if you do want somebody to come back to your, your direction. If you do not want that person to come to your direction, try to forgive and release them because you're making it harder on yourself. Holding back, yes, sometimes that's appropriate. But here, all your energy is pouring pouring towards needing to heal, needing to feel more dependent upon yourself and stable, you and this person. All signs are up here, heavy on the Leo, Aries, a lot of air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this is all revolving around this soul connection, this possible twin flame, soul mate. Big feelings of lost. Ugh. Okay, let's get an answer for you. Let's get an answer for you on the yes, no, maybe so deck. Okay, source. What do we have for our woo? Oh. No, 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 no. Fell right out, and so did nobody. Nope, nope, nope. But we're going to do it again anyway. Okay, source for Virgos, question, what do we have? Yes, no, maybe so. Sorry about the crappy energy. I hope it doesn't resonate. You guys have been having some really... The answer is yes. So whatever you had been actually thinking about was a yes. And on we go. 
to Libras. Okay, Libras, dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, two of rods, reversed. This person is having some anxiety about making a decision. They do want to discuss this with you. Heavy on the fire. Not ready yet to pick the path, but ooh, they do want to talk. They're dropping some of that mentality of being the victim. It's kind of like a slow roll here. Page of Cups, yes, they do want to offer something to you, but it has to be very slow. So they're ready. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, three popped out. Judgment, Nine of Rods. Okay, so this person has some fight left in them. They're not giving up. Mm -mm. They want to come in fast. Could be with an apology, but it's like to bring something back up. I'd say you probably will hear from that person. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Flipped right in the deck. Knight of Rods, in and out, on and off, on and off. Really assessing the situation. Does it pay to put any work into this? All right. What do we have? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. So this feels like this person moved from one situation and now they just want to have some fun. Bottom of the deck. Three of Rods. If you're waiting for um, a commitment from this person, you're going to keep waiting for a while. They're willing to play. Not sure about the sticking around. Okay. Let's get a clean deck. Source, what do we have for Libra? Person most on their mind. How are they thinking and feeling? Okay. Moon reverse. A little fear factor here. Why? Can you Pisces? Up in their head. Kind of hold them back a little bit. Okay. But they're not showing it. I mean, they're they're acting confident. How did you? you? Ooh. Well, they got it going on for you. You're showing this confident, but you think you're confident. <laughs> okay. This has to do with a commitment or soulmate. That's how they're seeing you. Why the moon reversed? Okay, so they're not sure if you want a long-term commitment. Mm-hmm. No more for how you feel. You know, I still, this really shows, it's still that you have some fight in you they're viewing you absolutely fantastic. You're still having some fight left in you. You could have some doubts. They sense it. One more. Strength. Holding back a little bit. Can be a Leo. Aries Leo Sag heavily. Motion forward. Okay, so this can be a reconciliation. There isn't closure here. You're both kind of wondering about getting back together. That's what it's showing. You know, but they're viewing you as not telling them this and just acting like everything's fine. Ten of Wands moving forward. Why the Ten of Wands reverse moving forward? Okay. There's some betrayal. There's some need for explanation. There's a feeling of competition. Some verbal debating about. <laughs> yeah. All right. You both are up in your heads. Seriously. Not sharing how the other one feels. But there is one hell of a connection here. There is. The, you're both blaming each other. You have the five of pentacles reversed. But this could come back together. Yes. What do we have for absolutely single, 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 singles? This looks like a reconciliation. Singles, you're going to have a breakthrough. Could be with the Cancer Chariot. Moving forward, succeeding, nice energy. Also can be you that is in separation right now. I see clarity. I see talking. I see reliability. Singles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. There's Leo Sag and Gemini Leave Aquarius. 
putting work into a situation. So those of you that are looking to reconcile, yes, it does look like it could happen. There needs to be some, you know, conversations, some truth. Nobody's talking. <laughs> you're both, you're, you're both holding back, wanting a reconciliation. I, this is reconnecting. It's <laughs> wish fulfillment. Can be an Aquarius singles also you could be meeting an Aquarius all signs really but Virgo as well heavily this is wish fulfillment it's reaching for the stars it's attainment it is attainable yes nice so reconciliation for some of you there needs to be a discussion but it's nothing major there is nothing you know for some of you obviously can't be all of you they're not sure what the hell you want. They're afraid of you maybe not wanting to reconcile. But I see you both are pretty much thinking the same thing. All right. And on we go. Oh, we're going to get one question. Sorry. Yes, no, maybe so for Libra. My bad. Yes, no, maybe so for Libra. Spirit says no and it flipped right in the deck. Okay. Now on we go. Scorpio, dealing with the fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, definitely an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Outgoing, hot to trot. What else? Hmm. They might want to be in and out a little bit too fast. Keep in mind there is no gender in tarot, so I would say this person has a big head on their shoulders and knows what they got. So hmm, don't plan on that one sticking around. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Empress. Very nice. Nurturing. Ooh. So this person means business. This is somebody that probably wants long term. They have a lot to offer and they do not want to <laughs> take any competition and crap to go with it. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Queen of Cups reversed. Why is the Queen reversed? Emotionally moody. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands reversed. Why? On a paranoid. Avoiding some confrontation. They've got their pouty lip hanging out. Ten of Swords. One more. Amazing. Resisting change, anxiety about the situation. Yeah, and very emotionally codependent. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune. Why? Ooh, all right, this person's moving on. Had one hell of an upheaval in their life, and they're very up in their head. So this person isn't ready for anything yet. Assessing the situation, trying to decide if things would be able to go forward or not. But right now, not ready. They're not looking anywhere. Okay, clean deck. Let's see what we have. Two deck. Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's write it in under this mic. All right, sorry about that. Scorpio's person, most on their mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Okay. Two of rods and the four of rods. So there, there's major stagnation here. They're not sure that they want to invest in this as far as long term, but they're sh should oh very stuck energy very up in their head how do they view you how do they view scorpio hair front reversed <coughs> so they do not think that you are ready for a commitment or willing to give one one more king of cups okay so they think you have a lot to offer, but not sure that you're willing to commit to a situation. Could be why this indecision right now. How do you view them? King of Wands reversed. Okay, so you don't think they're reliable. <laughs> okay, one more here. Let's see how they view them. Okay, 
you don't think they're reliable, they could be leading on that they are. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate, yes, it's reliable, let's give this a shot, and you're not sure. So are you trying to act, you know, are you trying to pretend that they are and play house? Juggling back and forth, really trying to think about what to do about this. What else? Moving forward, magician. So you're trying to manifest this. This is showing that you have everything that you need to do this, but you are definitely trying to make this happen, even if it's just with your thoughts. And then you have the Ten of Rods. Why the Ten of Rods? It's a lot to take on. Emotional difficulties. You don't see that you two feel the same way. It's really <laughs> giving you like pick. Pity party syndrome here. You might be missing an opportunity. Balance, even give and take. You could be feeling that you're not getting enough out of this. Breadcrumbed. And the Two of Cups. So wanting that relationship. One more. Knight of Cups. I think this person's willing to start smaller than you, <laughs> the King of Cups here. I think they want to offer you something, but not sure. Oh, look at this, though. It can lead that direction. You have a lot of doubts. Not sure what exactly is giving you doubts, but you are all up in your head trying to see. You know, if they're breadcrumbing you, then you need to have a discussion. They don't think that you are willing to commit, and you don't think they're willing to commit. Somebody's holding back and got cold feet. A little bit here. But this would be a good connection. Knight of Cubs offering small, but it could lead to some major happiness. Mm -hmm. And you have the Empress here. I'm sorry, Three of Cups. So that can be a reunion or something to celebrate. But the Sun can be a Leo. This does move forward. I mean, it's, it has really nice energy. It just seems that both of you are so unsure. There needs to be some discussion here. More communication. A lot of emotion, something to celebrate, some optimism. I mean, these look really pretty damn nice. Get out of your head, Hush, Wookie. No, that boy. The indecision that this person's holding on to, is it because you are exhibiting the same? I really think that the two of you need to talk because there really does look like there could be a very good long-term connection or a hell of a dating situation. This is really nice energy. Okay, let's get a yes, no, maybe so for you. Yes, no, maybe so source for Scorpios. Don't see it. And at the bottom of the deck, Spirit says no. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorpios. And I'm going to go. Sagittarius dealing with a fire. Fire signs, please, source. All right. I feel like this person is nickel and diming the situation. They do have an apology to offer, but are they just, you know... It's almost like they think that they're inferior. They're really major, big pity party here. Aw. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please. All right. Why the six of bronze reversed? Got a feeling these are all going to tie together. Okay, so this person... They could have been a bit two-faced. They also could have been... It's like a lack of indecision and it caused this ending, but there's a lot of doubts and delays here. One more. Oh, major stuckage. Stalemate. Low self-esteem again. Wow. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might not know that this person feels inferior, but holy crap. Empress reversed. 
fives, you're not speaking to this person, can be a Gemini as well. Where there once had been a connection, now you have this person feeling like there's a lack. The Empress Reverse can be unfaithful, does not have to be a female. Just saying. No conversation right now. Can this, you know, be picked back up? Not right now. Definitely not. No. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for Sag. Well, there's one good card. Finally. Can be a Leo as well. One or two more. One or two more. There we go. All right. This person... I'm saying this is balancing out here, so I'm going to get one more card. The two together really do balance out quite a bit. Okay, and then the Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone that's considering this long-term commitment, but they're a little bit scared. <laughs> it's like it would make them happy, but they're afraid. I'm nosy. One more. But the other cards that have already come up for you, Sag, I'm really thinking that, yeah, okay. They know they have to put more work into this. Bottom of the deck, there's a sneakery. It's going to be interesting grabbing a different deck because right here, you have, yes, this makes me happy, but I'm scared of committing. <laughs> okay. All right, 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 right. Clean deck. Clean deck. Let's see what we get. Okay. Person most on Sagittarius is mind. Nine Pentacles reversed. Very leery. Not sure about putting the work into it. Slow as hell. Why the Knight? Source, why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? I'm almost feeling like this person feels a little bit pressured. Lack of commitment. Stagnation. Really taking their sweet ass time. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Not ready to make an offer right now. What else? One more. Definitely not making a choice right now. How do they view you? Okay, so they do see you as that wish fulfillment, and they do have a lot of, look at this, sexual interest, and they know that you want a connection or commitment of some sorts. Showing that you want to, this is how you see them. You want to get back together with them? Yeah. You want to reconcile, you want to reconvene in this, and this has got you all up in your damn head because they are not committing. In fact, bottom of the deck you have it, it's quite irritating. And getting you very antsy in your pantsy it can be a Leo. Oh, really did stretch out right into this clean deck. Potential moving forward. I do see that this person cares about you. I do. This is starting really small. It's almost like you kind of get friend zoned. Why? I don't know why the friend zoning and indecisiveness. This person's a damn pussy. Emperor reversed. Why the emperor reversed? Lack of confidence. Lack, lack, lack. Lack of confidence. There it is. <laughs> they know you want a commitment. They're not ready to make anything long term. So what? They don't want to put a, a, a ring on your finger or... <laughs> You don't them. But it is something that this can be worked on. It really can. This is the wounded warrior here. The wounded warrior says, I still have some fight in me. Yes, I have doubts. Whatever the hell this person had been through in the past, or there will be balance. Whatever they had been through in the past, or this connection that the two of you had broken off from, they're still leery about reconnecting or getting together now can be an Aries lot of fire and earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn and look at the emotions two cups three cups and the nine of cups wish fulfillment not ready for the big offer right now but really fair no lies no bullshit I do like the justice card coming up can be a Libra one more for how this will go okay here oh my gosh Nice energy. It really is. You have somebody that's a commitment fall. Was there a tower moment? Sure could have been one. But this is going to move forward for you and this person. Cutting off those chains that bind you. You know, releasing yourself from the same old story. Finally figuring out what direction to go in. But this is karma. This is destined. This is fate. 
after this upheaval and the rug being pulled out from underneath of you, whatever had happened, yeah, this person's really holding back right now, but they do have emotions, and the emotions look like they're going to grow. For sure. This is really nice energy for being really in between the anxiety that you have about this connection and wondering if they're ever going to, you know, stay faithful or stick around or show more work in it. Yes, it's coming. The stubbornness will wear off. They slowly but surely come to. Ooh. All right. Again, all signs are up here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all. Heavy on the Libra. Heavy on the Aries, Leo, Sag, and Taurus, Virgo, Caps. Okay. Let's get an answer. Most on Sagittarius's mind. Yes, no, maybe so. Source. And we have... You have a nope. And unfortunately not... All right, so whatever you're asking right now is a new. Give it a little more time. Okay, on we go. Let me get a shuffle in the deck. Capricorns. No, oh, I'm making a mess per usual. Capricorns dealing with a fire. Aries Leo Sag. All right, what knight of swords reversed? That person comes in kind of shitty and distant. You know the nicest things to say. Can be working on their own broken heart, but they do want to start a new chapter. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups. Yeah, they. I mean, this person will come around possibly, but it's going to be a slow, slow go. I'm feeling with the Knight there reversed. Usually when he's upright, he's fast, and I'm feeling this is like major <laughs> backing up, going in reverse. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Cups, emotionally available. What else? After the fuckery. Had they one time um, held back on emotions, that's what it's showing right now. Mm -hmm. This is showing that they felt manipulated. Hmm. I'd be careful with that one, only because it's like they might have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Hypercess reversed. What else? This person's not using their gut feelings, their intuition. Page of Wands could be a bit skeptical on how they feel about themselves, but they do have something to offer. So I think it's like, I hope, I hope, I hope. Will you take my cup? But they're really not sure. <laughs> it's like, listen to your intuition, person. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more. There we go. So there was an ending with this person. Or there needs to be one hell of a new start. But they, they are watching you. So you're being stalked by somebody. They're collecting information about you. They're waiting. Bottom of the deck. They're waiting. They're biding their time. And then... Yeah, out of nowhere, you will hear from this person. Can be a Scorpio. All right, clean deck. Clean deck. Let's see what we have for you. Source for Capricorn. Person most on their mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Seven of coin. What else? King of Wands. And. The hermit reversed. This person is kind of up in a pity party. They're very lonely. They're lonely. They're wondering about putting the work into it. But on the outside, they're, they're showing that they have it all together. How do they view you? They're contemplating coming your direction. They may see that you have something small to offer, but that you may have friends on them. And that's why they're holding back a little bit. They're trying to make it off like, you know, it's all jokes and fun and... <laughs> okay, Capricorn, there you are. So this is you sitting in your glory. Yes, I know you got a crappy card to represent you. However, you're really sitting in your glory here. You're holding back. Yes, you are. So this is showing you do not want any toxic crap and you don't want controlling freaks. All right. <laughs> you could have your eye on more than one person as well. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups could be why they're feeling a little inferior. Can be an Aries, can be another Capricorn. What else? Also can be a Virgo. So, now we feel that you have new and old. Why the three? 
I'm thinking you have more than one offer. Okay, yeah. So decision that you need to make yet. Oh, yes. But this can be getting back together with somebody that's really doting, very lonely, not acting like it's bothering them on the outside at all. You are really showing up strong and sturdy. How do you feel deep down? <laughs> you like screw in? Well, there's your devil. Well, well, well. This is somebody there's a lot of passion for. So you are either starting over with something new. Could be somebody younger than you. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Vir Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But yet holding back strength, passion, passion, passion. Leo, fire sign, fire sign. There's a lot of passion here. Can this be a commitment? Yes. Sturdy. I don't see anything derogatory in here. With the three, there could have been more than, you know, but I don't feel that at all, especially next to the hair font. That's commitment. Bottom of the deck, you have the Empress. I think there's emotion here. I'm not sure love yet. No. Page. Pages are not true, deep love. Can it grow to be that? No reason why not. I don't see anything derogatory other than, hey, I don't want any toxic crap or all friends on you. Look at that. Moving forward. Wow. Wish fulfillment. Filling all those cups, it's like one left until you, oh, there's that empress, until you get full attainment of emotional satisfaction. This is contentment right here. The empress is happily pregnant in this, you know, she is the birther of relationships, maternal, but she's also faithful and has good natural instincts. It's fulfillment and abundance. This is really a nice spread. Mm -hmm. I like it. There's another page. <laughs> I'm really feeling that this is the energy coming towards you with this person. It's just a little at a time and they might you might have more than one person come in your direction. This doesn't reek of breakup, bossing up. Are any of your cards reversed? One. One. One card reversed. So this person that's most on your mind is contemplating bossing up bring it your direction, being a little bit on the, uh, that hermit reverse, it's like they go within, they're acting very alone, but they're isolating themselves. The star. Can Aquarius? Here's where I'm wondering, are they seeing what's being offered? Bottom of the deck, that would make a lot more sense. Because this would be, I'm not putting any work into the situation and the person feels alone. So that could have been the problem and there wasn't any talk for a while. But right now, I mean, this does look like it progresses forward in a very nice way. A lot of sexual energy. This looks like a new beginning. It really does. After kind of like a time out. Here's your time out. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, let's get an answer from source. All signs are up here heavy on the Aries and Capricorn, Earth, Aquarius. Okay, let's get an answer. And source. Yes, no, maybe so for Capricorn, please. Source, Capricorn. Okay, proceed. So give it a slow roll. Give this person a little bit of space. Looks good. Okay, Aquarius. Dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. Oh, Wow. So this person is wishing and hoping for a commitment. Oh, healthy energy. Slow but sure. Can be a Taurus. I like it. Ooh. Also can be an Aquarius or it can be just that they feel that way about you. I like it a lot. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clear, concise messages from somebody that wants to reconvene. Yes, it is. We have the two cups reversed. This is a breakthrough. It starts small. This is messaging, hitting you up, just trying to, you know, see if you bite. All right. And Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, so this person's thinking a lot. They're alone right now. Hangman. I'm Hangman. Can also be, all right, very alone. Very, very alone. Wanting to drop the fights, 
I'm nosy. I just had to pull a few more out. The hermit is isolated, isolating, hasn't necessarily learned a lesson, but they're kind of like pouting. They don't want to be alone. They could have felt that, or it can be that they are aware that they were a bit self-absorbed about things, and now they're really going, but this was so good. Ace of Pentacles, wanting to offer something tangible. They could have a gift for you. Here as well, they could have a gift. Hmm. Can be a return, yes. It's going to be a little wait, though. All right, let's get a clean deck. Clean deck. Let's see, we have Aquarius. Card dust all over. Okay, Aquarius, person most on their mind. My table must look like a pigsty by the time I get to you guys. Wheel of Fortune. Moving forward, fate, luck, destiny. Nice, liking that. Page of Pentacles, there's that small offer. This moves forward. Very slow. It's kind of like as it's destined to be, as the universe decides that it should happen. The Empress, oh my gosh, how they view you. They are very attracted to you. They think that you have everything going on, that you're maternal. Now you don't have to be a female to be maternal and caring. The Empress is abundance and fulfillment. I love it. <laughs> However, they also might be seeing that you are a little bit bored or not seeing what's being offered. Look how this, I think it's a lady, person, <laughs> object, uh, alien. Just like, hum de dum de dum <laughs> Don't see the ship coming in. So this could be a missed opportunity. All right. How do you view them? The fool. Reversed. <laughs> Ah, so th there's something that's got you holding. You're a bit cold. The fool reversed. Oh, you're thinking, you're thinking they're immature. You could think that they toy with other people. That they lack experience. Could have been a little bit too impulsive with choices. And now you're acting shitty. <laughs> Look how he's looking at his sword. That's somebody that has a lot to say. You don't want to go at somebody <laughs> with a sword too fast. Potential action. This isn't done. The world reversed. There's, some, there's no closure here. Will they come towards you? Yes, I do think so. Up, up, and away. That's you going away from the shitty into clearer waters. After this hurt. So I'm not exactly sure what they did. Could have been a third party. Doesn't have to be a third party situation. One more. And you have... This does look like both of you want to get past this hurt. You're both taking, that's the Knight of Pentacles, taking a little bit of a break here. Mm -hmm. This is what needs to happen. The hair font right now is reversed, bottom of the deck. But yes, this can go into a better direction. This is somebody that both of you are single, but can it go forward? Yes, there needs to be talking right now. Needing to use your intuition so that you can heal. What's underneath that? The tower reversed. It's not as bad or somebody wants to avoid this ending. Here's the star, Aquarius. Somebody wants to reconcile and work on things together. That's another three, though. Again, for some of you, that could have been a third-party situation. Very interesting. There's your counterpart. She's sharpening her knives. Like, yeah, don't lie to me. I mean, there there's a lot of ups and downs and trials and tribulations in here, but it really, somebody doesn't want this ending. It's definitely quiet right now. It can be Pisces as well. It can be a Leo. This looks like a standoff. Okay, it can be a Taurus. This person is going to come your way. You are staying right on your throne, moving away from the garbage and the bullshit, and just taking a time out. Healing, licking your wounds. Nothing wrong with that. They, this could be like them trying to feel you out. Again, like the mini spreads. But they do think the world of you. They know that you are abundance and how they're seeing you is not taking an offer. Just not yet. Let's get an answer from source. Kind of wrapped right into those minis. Hmm. Okay. One answer for Aquarius. Source, what do we have for an answer for Aquarius, please? Aquarius. Yes. Bottom of the deck, you have... Proceed. Okay, so you know, get gather your brain back together. 
but this looks like somebody's going to come back your way. It's just going to, it's going to take damn time. Okay, Pisces, dealing with a fire. Pisces. Ooh, manipulation, jackass. What else? What else? And not speaking to them anyway. Okay, I'll leave them there. They're all up in their head. I'm going to take that one out too. This person's trying to let go of the victim mentality. If they look really close, they don't, they're not bound, but they seem to think they are. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, anxiety, frustration, concerns, worry, 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 worry. Ace of Wands, sexual energy. And it's not done yet. So it also can be a Scorpio, but they have a lot of sexual energy to be releasing here. Okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, doggy donor, sexual energy, they need to make a choice. The Sun Reverse is being kind of pessimistic. It's like they have, you know, they want to come in and play flirty flirty, but they're not deciding if they want to stick around. All right, Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn, Nine of Cups, very nice. Attainment of fulfillment and contentment. Oh, come on, that's sweet. We like this. Okay, so it can be a Gemini. Two people that feel the same way about each other. You're one cup short of a full load of happiness and bliss. But this is also a full attainment for their own contentment. It can be a Gemini for sure with this up here, but something's not quite done. I've got a feeling they're all going to kind of tie together with a clean deck, but their wish fulfillment is what makes them the happiest. Not both of you, them the happiest. Okay. Clean deck. And we will see what we get. Okay. Okay, source, what do we have for Pisces person? Most on their mind. Flipped right in the deck. All right. Well, a lot of sexual energy here. They have something to offer you, Felix. They want to, this is a creative beginning. It's something that can grow. Empress reversed. Why the Empress reversed? Could be a little bit smothering or codependent. Also can be jealous. But they want to offer that cup. Ooh, how do they view you? I'm feeling more jealousy than anything. This is how they view you. Oh, triumphant, successful, being seen, getting a lot of attention. Or that you want a lot of attention. One more. And starting to focus. Starting to see what's being offered. Not in quite the pity party about yourself anymore. How you view them. One-sided. So you don't feel that they gave to this connection. What else? Queen of Wands reversed. Unreliable. Hmm. The Queen of Wands, when she's reversed, she can be bossy. She doesn't care how other people feel. No regard to it at all. Potential moving forward. The sun. Nice energy. So it's like you want this person to come your way, but they feel that you got it all going on and just starting to focus on it. You think that they don't give enough and that they're that you could also be seeing that they're a very jealous person or feeling that they are too jealous and it makes it a burden. How does this move forward? Positive. Having positive, you know, optimistic ideas. It's fun and frolic. You have the wounded warrior. So there is, I mean, this person is still having some doubts. I'm feeling your doubt here as well. There is some fight left in them though. See how guarded he looked? He's looking back and forth. Who's doing what? Who's doing what? Paranoid. What else? This isn't done. So this person will come back your direction. Yes. Is there any communication right now? Bottom of the deck, you had the five of cup or five of pentacles. So probably not, but I do see that they want to. They're going to get an ass chewing and they don't want it. <laughs> Competition here reversed. There needs to be a compromise. And there can be. It's the end of, I mean, it doesn't get worse than it already had been. This is the end of it. Will there be, it's almost like saying, are you going to want to take this cup or not? 
Are they that lazy? Look at that, lazy couple. Now that can both be them. And showing, you know, how unreliable that they are. But they, they're they so regretting. Whatever they did, they're regretting it. Maybe they stepped out and decided they thought somebody else was better for them. Turned out not to be such a damn good idea. Now they want to come back where the grass is greener. It's, hmm, be for some of you. This can work. There needs to be a lot of communication. You still have a lot of doubts. You're not sure that you want this connection anymore. Oh, I'm liking this better and better. Here's their karma. <laughs> if they put you in a third-party situation, boy, are they fucking sucking bags of shit right now. Ooh, yeah. Karma doesn't always feel good. Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe a little bit once in a while, but... And there it is. Sorrow. Major regret. What else? Nosy. Can't help it. Dropping the burdens. Okay, so... This is saying that this person is going to drop the other options, not be as delusional and up in their head thinking they have all these choices. Bring it on with honesty and be more fair. Nice. That is very nice energy. Can be a Libra here. All signs are up here. Heavy on the Libra. Libra, Leo, but all signs are up here. All of them. Heavy on this Libra. This isn't done yet. They got their fucking karma. They want to make something grow. The Empress reversed is growth as well, okay? But they're seeing you, you know, pondering, pondering. This is fast action, um, happens quick, but it's honesty. It's a breakthrough. I do see this person dropping the burdens and the bullshit from the past, and this could be a reconciliation, yes. Let's get an answer. Let's get an answer from the source. Grass isn't greener on the other side of the world. It's not. Okay. One answer from source. Yes, no, maybe so, Pisces. Yes, no, maybe so. You gotta, yep. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and many blessings.